Uncle Hoosh's hat. Hey guys, welcome back to Harrison Hacks. Uh, today I want to show you a couple of updates for uh, two different things for your SNES Classic Edition um, if you happen to get one. Uh, first thing I wanted to let you guys know is that the firmwares have been updated for the retro receivers. So if you have an NES Classic retro receiver um, to use Bluetooth controllers, they've done firmware version 1.07 and the download uh, is on the 8BitDo website and if we look at the update log we can see that as of September 30th 2017 it now supports the SNES and the SFC Classic so the Super Famicom uh, so now we know that this is uh, fully functional um, I've seen a couple people discussing it and they said it works perfectly uh, so for me I have this here I have the SNES 30 and um, if we look at the update log for that, basically there was an uh, input lag problem, so it, it's on firmware 4.01. Uh, but mostly, if you wanted your retro receiver uh, to use a Bluetooth controller on your SNES Classic Edition, it will work, and here's the newest firmware. So go ahead and check that out. Um, and a quick little thing here. If anyone's not familiar with this, this if you click the tools on the 8BitDo website, um, there's a receiver tools for the PS3 controller. And what that does is sync your PS3 controller to a retro receiver. So you could you could potentially use your PS3 controller, and this is what I do for my PC. Uh, I actually connect my PS3 controller Bluetooth through my 8BitDo um, NES Classic receiver uh, through USB. But you could also use it on the NES Classic, the SNES Classic, the Super Famicom Classic, uh, and and so on. Um, so you can get it for Windows or Mac. Um, just a, a really cool little tool, very easy to do, uh, simple to follow. So basically, um, what I want to tell you next is I was looking at Mad Monkey's Hackchi uh, GitHub, and I noticed that a day ago, there's been some some progress going on so if we go into the hack g root fs it says snes classic works so here's everything they've been doing to modify um hack g to get it to get it working fully on the snes classic edition as opposed to just the nes classic so it says snes classic works we can go into the bin and um here is the CH menu two days ago SNES classic works and also the script SNES classic works SNES classic works so here's transfer SNES classic works now I have not tested this um, it's not a, a public release this is a continuous uh, this is what they're working on right now so I would imagine you'd call it a beta uh, if anyone wants to try the beta, um, I'll leave a link in the description, which will just take you to right here. And this will be Mad Monkey's uh, Hackchi. And you could click and download it and try it out. Uh, but again, I don't know if this is stable enough at this point. So that's totally up to you. I'm not taking any responsibility if you mess up your SNES Classic. Um, but if you're looking to get that mod early, and if anyone is willing to do it, uh, go ahead and try it out and post in the comments. Let me know if it works. Uh, but for me, I'm, I'm, I'm going to wait for a stable release. Um, I, can, I can wait a little while longer until the stable release comes out. But if anyone wants to try this early edition, I say go for it. Post it in the comments if it works for you. Uh, I'll definitely, if, if it works for you, uh, for sure, then I, I can't say definitely, but I may give it a try on my SNES Classic and uh, make a video about it. So again, guys, if you want to use your retro receivers on your SNES Classic Edition, they're going to work. And I will I will leave a link to that as well. Um, and then I'll leave a link to Mad Monkey's Hack G which is the work in progress right now that says SNES Classic is working. So, 
Really appreciate you guys watching. Uh, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and most importantly, have a good day.